The life history of Immanuel Kant is difficult to deconstruct because he had neither life nor history. He led an almost abstract, mechanically ordered bachelor life on a quiet and isolated street in Königsberg. All had their specific time, and the neighbors knew precisely that it was half past three when Immanuel Kant came out on the porch of his house. This is the man who made philosophy as fun as watching paint dry, but twice as important. Kant was one of the first philosophers to focus on the process of thinking itself. Prior to him, philosophers often sought to solve philosophical problems by providing definitive answers. Descartes tried to establish that the foundation of knowledge is rooted in the certainty of the intellectual processes of the self. David Hume argued that knowledge stems from empirical experience, while Plato believed that ultimate reality is grounded in immutable, rational forms. Kant, however, shifted the focus by asking a different kind of question. Instead of asking, what is knowledge, or what is reality, he posed a more fundamental inquiry by asking, what are the conditions that allow us to know the world, define what is good, or recognize beauty. Kant sought to understand how the human mind and cognitive structure are organized to make knowledge possible. Prior to Kant, philosophers generally conceived of the world as an objective reality separate from us, which we passively perceived. This view contrasted with idealism, which posits that the mind or consciousness creates the world. Kant dramatically changed that vision demonstrating that we are actively constructing the world with our perception by imposing our conceptions of space, time, color, shape, and all the other categories of experience. Similar to how Copernicus revolutionized astronomy by proposing that the Earth orbits the Sun, Kant argued that philosophy's problems could be solved by understanding that our minds shape our perception of reality rather than the other way around. He was critical of pure and practical reason, as well as critical of judgment, and this is why he wrote some big boy books about these subjects. Kant's significance in Western philosophy largely stems from his synthesis of rationalism and empiricism, known as the Kantian synthesis. This synthesis of empiricism and rationalism laid the groundwork for modern epistemology, addressing how we come to know the world. His ideas prompted a wide range of philosophical movements, including German idealism, existentialism, and phenomenology. And that's Kant in a nutshell. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.